In the electric skateboard world, brands have two reliable methods to make their products successful. Make a board unique or sell it at a really, really low price. Tiny with the Tiny Mini 3 Pro managed to be unique and is wildly popular for its over-the-top crazy torque and power. Now with the Tiny Mini 3 SL, it will try to do the latter. Affordable electric skateboards used to start at $700 and then $450 became the norm. Tiny Mini 3 SL starts at $359, and this is as low as you get for a decent dual hub electric skateboard. So will it be any good? Let's see if the specs tell us anything. Starting with the deck, the Mini SL is made with an 8-ply Canadian maple, which has a nice and wide concave, making it comfortable to stand on. Unsurprisingly similar to the Tiny Mini 3, but with a longer kicktail. The deck uses the same U-shaped concave design popularized by the late Boosted Mini. For Tiny Mini 3 SL, the concave is more than others like the Boosted Mini or X-Way Wave. Next, moving on to the ESC, Tiny went with the tried and true Hobbywing ESC, which comes with four speed settings. And like all Hobbywing ESCs, it has a smart turn on feature, meaning the board powers on automatically when the remote is turned on. It's paired with the standard Hobbywing remote and a mobile app where you can customize the ride profile. As for the battery, the Mini 3 SL comes with a 6 amp hour, 216 watt hour battery, or a larger 7.8 amp hour, 281 watt hour battery for an extra $40. The Mini SL hub has a marketed range of 17 miles or 27 kilometers using the standard 6 amp hour battery, and 20 miles or 32 kilometers with the larger 7.8 amp hour battery. Our unit was the smaller 216 watt hour version, and in our range test, we only managed to reach 11 miles or 18 kilometers with a 154 pound or 70 kilogram rider riding fast. This is slightly lesser than the marketed range, as is always the case when we try to push the speed, but even then, 10 miles and 18 kilometers is what we came to expect from a $400 board, so we aren't disappointed here. And when worst comes to worst, it is a hub board, so you can kick push if you completely run out of juice. The Tiny Mini 3 SL uses a dual hub motor drive at 550 watt max power, which is marketed with a top speed of 30 miles per hour or 48 kilometers per hour, which is also impressive at that price point. When we took it to the road, we only managed to hit 28 miles per hour or 45 kilometers per hour, just a little bit short of the marketed top speed. For the trucks, Tiny uses their Tiny PE truck, which is short for Paris Electric Trucks. These were made by Tiny and were said to be designed based on Paris trucks. We are familiar with Tiny PE trucks from reviewing the other Tiny, and we know it is a decent truck, but unlike Paris trucks, which were known for their responsiveness, Tiny's trucks were geared more towards stability. As for the wheels, the Mini 3 SL comes with standard 90mm street wheels. 90mm wheels are pretty standard for electric skateboards, however, if you use usually ride on rougher pavement, you might want to pay that extra $80 for the 105mm donut wheels for a smoother ride. As you can see, Tiny Mini 3's SL specs are also pretty solid. Much like the Tiny Ultra SL Hub, the range and top speed are both pretty good and is on par with boards that cost $100 more. Besides putting up decent numbers, Tiny didn't skimp on the other parts either, going with the industry standard Hobbywing ESC and a decent pair of trucks. In short, this board, at least on paper, is a good value for the price it's asking. Now it just needs to be a good ride to complete the package, and that's what we shall talk about next. Overall, the Tiny Mini 3 SL is a smooth, comfortable board, a good board for beginners. First, let's talk about the speed control. Sometimes to cut costs, a budget board will go with an older generation Lingy ESC that wasn't the smoothest in speed control. And I'm not calling out X-Way Ripple or Meepo V3S here. Those two still use the latest generation of Lingy ESC, which is actually good. I'm talking about those no-name brands from Amazon. I'm glad that Tiny didn't do that. 
Tiny Mini 3SL sticks with the tried and true Hobbywing ESC, which makes it no surprise that the controls are buttery smooth thanks to the trusty Hobbywing ESC. For those who are new to electric skateboarding, Hobbywing ESC always gives a very intuitive speed control, and both the acceleration and braking ramp smoothly without any sudden jolts that might surprise you. This also means that the Tiny Mini 3SL is the opposite of a thrilling board. The acceleration curves weren't aggressive enough to give you an adrenaline rush, and the power of the motors wasn't strong enough to scare you either. If you wish that the board might be top of its class for its torque, just like how the Tiny Mini 3 Pro was, then you will be disappointed. It does have enough power for a mini board to get an average weight rider uphill, but that's pretty much it. The board was obviously designed to be comfortable, not thrilling. And the other thing that helps it to be a comfortable ride is its trucks. As we mentioned in the introduction, the tiny PE trucks are pretty good trucks that lean towards stability. Going fast on this small board isn't scary thanks to both these stable trucks and also the smooth speed control. Turning obviously is easy. This is a short board after all. The kicktail on the Tiny Mini 3 SL is also a little bit longer than average. Longer than the Tiny Mini 3 and 3 Pro for instance. Clearly, Tiny expects you to use kick turn more. We also like short boards with good concave. It just makes the board more responsive to control and helps us gauge where our feet are. So far, we like how Tiny put the Mini 3 SL together. Everything was done for comfort except one thing, the hub motors. Hub motors are more battery efficient, quieter, require less upkeep, are cheaper, free rolls better, and hence can be kick pushed. But it is also very good at passing road vibration to your knee. Short boards with hub motors are particularly uncomfortable on rough roads, and also, they also make annoying sounds on rough roads, which is annoying. This gets better if you pay that extra $80 to upgrade to the 105mm wheels, but if you're just planning on cruising smooth pavements, you'll be just fine. With a price tag of $400, we're usually not hoping for a board with a huge upside but instead checking for weaknesses of a board. And the Tiny Mini 3 SL is indeed that, a board that's overall decent and without significant flaws. The slight disappointment here would be that the bigger 10S 3P battery didn't result in a significantly better real-world range, but instead ended up just punching slightly above its $359 price tag. With that said, we still find Tiny Mini 3 SL one of the best values for its price. It is a very easy ride and put together well. You can do a lot worse for $400, and Tiny Mini 3 SL is amongst the boards that give you the best bang for your buck. As always, if you're looking to buy an eSkate, be sure to use our affiliated discount code eSkateHQ or use the link below. It will help you get a small discount and helps us out too. Ride safe, guys.